Hi, I'm Tim and welcome back to my second video in my Alter Labs full network setup series. And in this, which is episode two, we're going to be setting up our two pieces of equipment. The bottom one being the Alter Labs Route 10, which is their 10 gigabits per second router or router, whichever you like to call it. And then on the top here, we also have the Alter Labs control, which is their local standalone network controller device. So in this video, we're going to be setting up these two and configuring them so we have internet access and also we can connect it to our PC as well and also get into the network controller to do a basic setup. And then in future episodes, what we'll do is add a switch and then an access point and probably set up VLANs as well and other facilities depending on which update there is and what new facilities there are in the latest Alter Labs firmware and software update. So before we start, just some points to note out that before you disconnect your current internet, make sure that you have noted down your internet service providers details, whether that be, for example, a DHCP connection, a static IP connection or PPPoE connection. So make sure you have those details to hand before we actually start this process, because you will need these to connect your route 10 to your internet service providers account. So make sure you have those details to hand and also you can actually set up these devices via Bluetooth and the Alter Labs application, which you can download from, for example, a smartphone and then set these devices up via Bluetooth. However, in this video series, I'm showing you an alternative way of doing it, and that is to do it on the local PC via a web browser interface. So I think that's all you need to know. So let's get started. So what we're going to do here is we'll just go through from quick specs of this Alter Labs Route 10, which is their 10 gigabits router or router, whichever you like to call it. In these video series, I'll be referring to it as router. So this is a router, as I said, with 10 gigabits, one connections. So as you can see from the left hand side, we've got the Alter Labs logo. And then we've got a reset button, which is not recessed, but you do have to hold it down for at least 10 seconds to restart the device. So even if you accidentally, for example, click that reset button, it's not going to do anything until you hold it down for 10 seconds. So the first port along is an RJ45 port. And in fact, all four at the left hand side here are RJ45 ports and they do support up to 2.5 gigabits per second. Also, we have in port two, which is the second one from the left, and also port three. These are PoE plus ports as well. So you can actually connect devices that, that require PoE plus or PoE to these two ports, so ports two and three. Then moving along, we have two SFP plus ports, and these support one gigabit, 2.5 gigabits, five gigabits, and also 10 gigabits per second connections. So for example, you could actually use this SFP plus port to connect to your WAN or internet, should you have, for example, requirement for fiber, for, so a fiber optic module, or for example, you could put an RJ45 module in there if your internet connection is say 10 gigabits per second. However, what you could also do with one of these SFP plus ports is link it up to the switch. So you have a 10 gigabits per second uplink or, for example, 2.5 or 5 gigabits uplink to a switch. So that's basically the Alter Labs Route 10 router with a four port network switch in it. So then here we have the Alter Labs local network controller device and at the back or the front, depending on which way you have it, we have, for example, a PoE in port. So this is powered normally by PoE plus. So you would use, for example, one of your PoE plus ports on your route 10 
and connect it to the Alter Labs control to power the device. Then at the right hand side, we have the reset button. And again, you have to hold this in for 10 seconds at least to factory reset the device. Then at the back or the front, whichever way round you like to have it, we also have a input port and this is USB-C. So you can actually power it via USB-C if you wanted to. And this is a five volt input and it requires three amps. However, they don't supply a power cable with this to power it as most people would power it via PoE from their Route 10 router. So what we'll do now is I'm going to put these in my network rack. Oh, and one thing to note from the factory, the Ultilabs Route 10 router ports one, which is the first RJ45 port on the left, and then the SFP plus port on the far right. These are WAN ports by default. So port one is a WAN port, and then port six, which is the SFP plus port, is also a WAN port. So it will support dual WAN. So just to note that, that when you're connecting your cables, make sure that you put your WAN cable or connection in either port one or port six. I will be connecting my WAN as it has a 2.5 gigabit connection to the ONT, and I'll be connecting it to port number one. And then port number two, which is the PoE plus port will be eventually connected to the port on the outer control. Then what I'll be doing is also connecting my PC via a RJ45 network connection to port number four, which is the fourth RJ45 port, and that's the non-PoE port. So what we're going to do first, I'll be powering it on via the supplied power cable and power adapter into the back. Once it's powered on and the light on the top has turned white, I will then connect the WAN connection to port one and also my PC connection to port number four. Then what we'll do is hop onto my PC next. Once this router has powered on and the light has turned white on the top, we'll go to the web browser and then we'll bring up the WAN connection configuration wizard on my computer screen. And once we've done that, then we'll go to the Alter Labs controller, connect this up, and then we'll go into that on the web browser as well and set this up. So here we are at the computer screen. And what I've done is restarted my PC so that it picks up a new IP address from the Alter Labs router. And as you can see, I've opened up a web browser and in the address bar at the top, we're going to type in 192.168.1.1, which is the default IP address of the Alter Labs router out of the factory. So as you can see, we've now got the Alter Labs logo on screen. So what we're going to do is, as you'll see from the picture on screen, which I'll make a bit bigger for you now, you will see that we have 11 which is currently set to default as port one. And then one, two is currently set to the far right SFP port, which is port number six. So it's asking us which port is your primary internet connection plugged into. Now, as I said, I was connecting the one to port number one. So we'll select one, one. Then for the connection type, as I've said, you needed to have noted down what internet connection type yours is. Now, in my case, it's DHCP, so I'm going to select DHCP. If yours is static, select static, and of course, BPPOE, then select this. So in my case, I'm selecting DHCP, and then it's asking me, does your primary internet connection require VLAN tagging? Now, mine does, so what I'm going to do is click on yes. Now, the VLAN tag, which I already know, is 911 and the QoS tag will be zero. So what I'm going to do now I've entered those two values is click next. Now it's asking, does your primary internet connection require use of a specific MAC address? Mine doesn't, but I know in the US that a lot of providers out there do. So you probably need to select yes if you're based in the US. So what I'm going to do is click no, and then 
do you require a forced ethernet link speed? I'm going to select no and set this to automatic. However, should you so wish, you can actually set yours, but I would recommend just doing no and automatic. So select this. Now it's advising that it's connecting to your ISP. So what we'll do is just wait for this to complete. And as you can see, after a few seconds, we've now got internet status and connected. So now we're at the set controller URL and we've got connect to controller and set up internet. Now, if you select set up internet, what it will do is go back to the start of this process, which we've just done, and it will set up the internet again. However, what we're going to do is leave this web page open. And what we're going to do next is open a new tab in our internet browser. And then what we're going to do next is I'm going to plug in the Alter Labs Alter Control into the Ethernet port, which is the PoE port on my Alter Labs router. As I've said, I'm going to plug it into port number two. And then once it's powered up, and we've obtained a white color light on the alter control then we should be able to proceed further and type in an ip address in our new tab screen here now what we need to do is find out the ip address of our alter control so normally if your pc has been for example given ip address of 192.168.1.11 which i know it has done as if you go into the settings this is based on windows by the way if you're on a mac you'll have to do this your own way and find the ip address which the alter labs route 10 router has allocated to your computer so to do this on windows you will click start go into settings then go to network and internet then you will see we've got network and internet ethernet one connected and properties so if we select properties you will see further down that we've got an ipv4 address of 192.168.1.11 now normally if you plugged your pc in before the alter labs network controller then the ip address of your alter control box is likely going to be 192.168.1.12 which is the next dhcp ip address that the Alter Labs router will run to the next device on the network by default. So what we'll do is close the network settings. So in the address bar at the top, we'll type in 192.168.1.12 and see if it takes us to the Alter Labs control web interface. And as you can see, as done. However, if yours doesn't, then what you could actually do is go onto a web page. So open up a new tab and in the address bar at the top, so type in advanced network scanner and you should get a result for advanced IP scanner. Now this is a free application. So what I would recommend doing is downloading this, save it to your PC and once you've saved it, then if you go into your folder where you've saved your download to and you should see advanced port scanner. So double click on it and for the message saying english click ok and then for the install or run option you don't need to install this program i would just select run and then select the run button then what you would do is select ip at the top so click this once and then select scan and wait for it to do an ip scan this should then reveal what the ip address of our alter labs controller is now just wait for it to finish and once it's finished you should get the green button here instead of stop however in this case i'm just going to stop it as you can see we've got the alter labs controller which is 192.168.1.1 and our pc which is work 01 is 11 and the control is dot 1.12 so this confirms the alter labs controller is actually running on IP address 192.168.1.12 as I mentioned earlier. So what we'll do is close this and then what you do is type in the IP address of your controller in the address bar and then as you can see it's revealed the alter labs and then it's asking for an admin email. So what I'll do is put in an email address and then once you've typed in the email address click on activate. 
and then it says please wait here for your new controller to load this may take several minutes so just wait for this to load and you should get the controller up on the screen here instead of this admin email box now as you can see we've now got the Alter Labs controller screen loaded and this took just probably about a minute and a half to do and at the top in the address bar you'll see we've now got a different address so what I would recommend doing is making a note of all this address here because this is what you can use in future to access your network controller or alternatively make a shortcut to it so what I'll do is paste a shortcut here and as you can see we've now got Alter Labs so this is what we can use to access our controller in future instead of the IP address. So what I'm going to do is click on don't have an account and we're going to click sign up. So what we're going to do is create our name. So we're going to enter the name, enter the email address and then once we've done that we'll create a password. And then once we've done that we'll click get started. So now as you can see it's asking me to check your email. So what I'll do is open up my email and as you can see it's asking me to click the link to verify the account setup so what i'll do is click on the link and then it's saying thank you for activating your account you may now log in so we'll close this tab and as you can see we're back at the other tab where we created our account in and what i'll do is click login then what i'll do is enter my email address and password which we've just created in the new account and then we'll click the sign in with email button so that as you can see it's now taken us straight into the network tab here on our local controller now what we need to do is pair our root 10 router to our network controller so to do this at the top you will see you need to copy this up to the word and include in ink so this first part here so we'll copy https add all the text there right through to add including dot ink here don't copy the clients or home plus base then go back to the other tab and in the alter labs where it's saying set controller url is paste in that address and then just remove the backslash at the end here so remove that backslash as you can see and then select connect to controller then after a few moments or two it might take one or two minutes you should have a device appear saying new router as you can see we've got new router or router as i said whichever you like to call it and what we need to do then is we can close the alter labs web page tab here for our root 10 now that we've added the controller address here you can close that tab and then all you need to do is back at the other tab for our Alter Labs controller for new router click on setup now it's saying that it's connected so under here we've got the status of connected and you'll see we've now got the status there we've got an address and we've got a version and for the name we've got no name and we've got the IP address so that completes this episode and what we've done is we've connected our router to the internet connected our PC to one of the switch ports on our router and we've also added and set up for basic operation our Alter Labs local network controller so that completes this episode so keep a lookout and more episodes are coming soon in this Alter Labs full network setup series so I hope you like this video keep a lookout more episodes are coming soon in this series take care bye for now